my beloved students welcome to this session in today's session we are going to find eigen vectors for a symmetric matrix when the eigen values are repeated let us go into the problem yeah the given matrix is a symmetric matrix we can check a is equal to a transpose so let us find the eigen values and then we go for the eigen vectors to find the eigen value we have to write determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 and we get the characteristic equation next we have to find s1 s2 s3 so let us find s1 s1 is nothing but sum of the leading diagonals next s2 we have to find the minors of the leading diagonals so take this first minor 2 leave the first row and column will give this determinant next take the second minor leave that corresponding column and row will get the next determinant in the similar way take the last element leave the column and row will get the third determinant expanding this determinant will be getting 4 minus of minus minus but we have minus in the determinant 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 similarly 4 minus 1 that is my 9 next we have to find the determinant of the whole matrix a so we take the sign plus minus plus we'll take this 2 leave this row and column and then finding this determinant would be 2 into 2 4 minus 1 next considering this minus 1 that is here and we have this negative that minus is here leave this row and column and expanding the determinant we would be getting minus 2 and minus of minus plus 1 and finally taking this value 1 leaving this row and column when you multiply minus into minus plus 1 minus 2 expanding we will be getting 4 therefore our s1 is 6 s2 is 9 and s3 is 4 next we have to find the eigen values substitute lambda cube s1 value is 6 lambda square s2 value is 9 9 lambda s3 value is 4 so minus 4 now take your calculator we know enter the values of a b c d if you don't know how to find this using your calculator go to the playlist watch the calculator video tricks come back to this video study and then we found our eigen values are 4 1 1 how we found we'll be getting x1 4 x2 is 1 and calculator will not show the third eigen value that means the first one is the non repeated eigen value and second and third are the same so the eigen values are 4 1 1 now what is the guarantee that my eigen value is correct i said the tricks s1 is going to be my sum of eigen values so just to add all these things 4 plus 4 1 plus 1 will be getting 6 that is my s1 then s3 is going to be my product of the eigen values suppose you multiply all the three eigen values you will be getting s3 so 4 into 1 into 1 it is going to be 4 so that means my eigen value is correct then i can proceed so step 1 over we found the eigen values in a correct way next we have to find the eigen vectors as i said to find the eigen vector we have to write a minus lambda i into x where x is nothing but my column matrix x1 x2 x3 and a minus lambda i you can write in a very simple way just take the diagonal elements subtract with lambda so my diagonal elements are 2 2 minus lambda 2 minus lambda 2 minus lambda and write the remaining elements as usual so this is going to be my a minus lambda i so i can directly write this like this and then write each equation like this and consider this as one now our job is to substitute the values of lambda in one by one now i am considering the non repeated eigen value first if i substitute if i sub if i substitute lambda equal to 4 in this equation 2 minus 4 will become minus 2 minus 2 and minus 2 remain remaining things are the same so i'll be getting this equation you see if all are minus even i can take this as plus it will be helpful for your calculation purpose but now i am going to consider equation 1 and 3 for a change now our badge is 2 3 1 2 i'll write the coefficients of first equations minus 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 similarly i'll take the equation 3 and i will write the coefficients as minus 1 minus 2 1 and 
minus 1 x1 x2 x3 so first i'll get the determinant of this first two elements so it will be 2 minus of minus plus 1 then next 1 minus of minus plus so 1 minus 4 then for the third value minus into minus plus so 2 minus of minus plus 2 plus 1 therefore my x1 is 3 x2 is minus 3 and x3 is 3 so i have to write the simplest value for my eigenvector so i am writing 1 minus 1 1 hope you understand you can see the step next similarly i am going to substitute the second eigen value that is a repeated one when i substitute here it will become simply 1 1 1 then this is my equation now what is the trouble in this equation you see obviously first two equations are same and students have a mislead the third equation is different third equation is not different see here first equation is this and the second equation is minus x1 plus x2 minus x3 equal to 0 when you multiply this equation by minus you will be getting plus and here you will be getting minus and plus so 1 and 2 are same sometimes in some situation they will give like this also 2x1 minus 2x2 plus 2x3 equal to 0 if two equations are same the meaning is the sign may change negative positive or it should be a multiple of 2 or any number a these are same why because if i divide this by 2 i'll be getting x1 minus x2 plus x3 equal to 0 so you should be very careful that you should not take two equations same if you take this two equations same your eigenvector will become 0 0 0 and your mark will become 0 now what is the trouble in this problem all my three equations are same so i cannot take anything in this situation don't worry it is going to be very simple take one equation x1 minus x2 plus x3 equal to 0 now you can put 0 for any one of the variable i am taking x1 it is not necessary to take x1 you can take anything put x1 equal to 0 we will be getting x2 plus x3 equal to 0 so now minus x2 equal to minus x3 x2 is equal to x3 so here the coefficient is 1 here also the coefficient is 1 so i am going to simply write like this x2 by 1 now my new eigenvector capital x2 is already we say x1 0 x2 is 1 and x3 is 1 this is my eigen vector understand if all three equations are same you can go this way if at least two equations are different then you have to use the badge 2 3 1 2 and you have to solve the equation See here next now what is the trouble my third eigen value is also 1 now you cannot take this equation put x2 equal to 0 and you cannot find the other eigenvector because we have the property if the matrix is symmetric all the eigenvectors are mutually perpendicular they are mutually orthogonal to each other so we are going to use the orthogonal property and we are going to find the third eigenvector so i am going to take my x3 is simply a b c this third eigenvector is orthogonal to other two eigenvector that means we say x2 transpose x3 is equal to 0 if they are orthogonal when you multiply the transpose of x2 column vector with x3 it will be getting 0 similarly x1 transpose x3 is also 0 so i am taking x1 transpose and x2 transpose because x3 is unknown to me so i am considering this property now x1 transpose is nothing but 1 minus 1 1 and x3 is a b c so when you multiply i'll be getting a minus b plus c equal to 0 similarly when i take x2 transpose x3 x2 transpose is 0 1 1 that is the eigenvector we found that is my x it come from x2 and this come from x1 now the equation is 0 a1 plus b plus c equal to 0 so we write this two equations now again we use the batch 2 3 1 2 for this second question i have minus b minus 1 1 1 and minus 1 for the second equation similarly we have second position 1 third position 1 then 0 1 hope you understand now we are going to find the 
a b c values as usual we find in the x1 x2 x3 so first we have to cross multiply this minus 1 minus 1 then for this 0 minus 1 for this 1 0 so my coefficients are minus 2 minus 1 and 1 for simplicity i am going to leave the minus and i'm going to write 2 1 minus 1 is my third eigen vector next you have to construct the modal matrix modal matrix is nothing but first eigen vector second eigen vector and third eigen vector and as i said we have to check the answer is correct or not there is no guarantee that our answer is correct so check this two elements and multiply this 1 into 0 plus minus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 I am taking these values into account. When I add 0 minus 1 plus 1, it is 0. Very good. So, as per our technique, yeah, this is 0. Then we go for the next one. 0 into 2, 1 into 1, 1 into minus 1. So, this is also going to be 0. Next, next I am going for the first and third column. 1 into 2 minus 1 into 1, 1 into minus 1. I will be getting 2 minus 1 minus 1 that is zero so this is nothing but in a symmetric matrix all the three eigen vectors are mutually orthogonal to each other so all the vectors are mutually orthogonal that means you can see the smiley your answer is correct then finally write the details take your eigen value and write the corresponding eigen vector now the problem is done share to your friends subscribe our channel if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comments I'll try to help you. Thank you students. See you in the next video.